And now in practical software development, uh, I mean, there's a large community that says you should just, as a software person, you should just shut up and listen to the domain experts and implement what they say. So, uh, and I think that's, I think that is, that falls short because you forget that there's a human in the loop, right? We don't, when we implement a software system, we don't implement a, a model of reality. I mean, that, that goes a straight line from reality. Instead, what we do is we implement somebody's understanding of reality. And so it goes through a human brain that has structured this problem in a certain way. So not in an arbitrary way, but in a certain way that sort of goes well with the human brain. So there we go. So there's mathematics, why that which should be relevant. I mean, humanity has developed that for hundreds of years. Uh, and so that's why something like the lambda calculus, which was developed before computers existed, right? So the lambda calculus is, is, is something that seems to go well with the human brain when thinking about names, right? Humans like to name things and deal with names. And I mean, that was, I think, one of the primary motivations of using the Lambda calculus to then as a basis for, for the Lisp programming language. And so this is why taking things from mathematics, even though it doesn't have anything to do with the immediate requirements of programming, right? I mean, we could, we could think of it from the other side, right? We're trying to implement some super concrete, you know, messy domain, you know, we're trying to implement whatever the self-driving car or the uh, whatever. I mean, we work a lot in factory automation. So we think a lot about controlling machines. Uh, a lot of my friends work in e-commerce, so they want to implement e-commerce sites. And of course the domains there are are messy. So you could think about, well, coming from that domain, how do I then go to a computer implementation, right? And that would arguably not lead you, you would not, you might not encounter mathematics on the way to that from there to sort of uh, machine code. So, uh, so why is it, why is it that the mathematics is so useful? Because it's common to all of our brains, right? It's, it's common to our brain structure. And that's why using solid mathematics to do programming language design and things like type system design and so on, even though mostly it was written, all of these things were designed completely ignorant of concrete uh, requirements tend to be useful in implementing requirements.